you guys, we're still in my parents' kitchen. Today we are making homemade potato chips. They are better than any store-bought potato chips you can ever buy, and they're extra crispy beauties. And with that being said, let's go. So here are all the ingredients we need to have for our recipe. As you can see, there are a lot of them. We have oil, potatoes, and salt. This recipe is about one star of five for difficulty. If you have an IQ of about 15, you'll be able to make this recipe. We pre-cleaned our potatoes to remove any of the dirt on it. It's gonna make it a lot easier to peel. And we dumped it in water for about 10 minutes to make it even easier to peel. Our pre-peeled potato can go away, and we'll start peeling our potato. We'll start from one end, flip your potato around, do the same on the other end. We slowly rotate our potato, and we will do one full rotation. And there we have it, the most logical way to peel a potato. And now all of our peels will go into the compost. Our next step will be to cut our potatoes. I will be using a mandolin. If you want to cut them by hand, you can, but your slices will not be uniform, and your chips may not cook evenly. It's better to cut our potatoes slowly than to go quickly to the hospital. We want slices about two to three millimeters. We are getting to the end. I'll slow down my rhythm. We can use our palm of our hand to go very slowly. Our first potato is done. We will reserve it in our bowl of water. Make sure your potato is nice and straight or else your chips will be deformed. We are approaching the end. Slow down just a bit. Palm of your hand, slice and dice. My mandolin will go into the sink. And now our potatoes. We'll shuffle our chips around, make sure that they're not stuck together. And so that the water can remove any of the starch in between, we'll do a tourne retour. Now we'll leave my potatoes in this water for about 30 minutes and we'll move on to our next step. While we're waiting for potatoes to soak, I will put my heat on high for heating my oil and I will put my oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We will be cooking our potatoes in the oil, then in the oven for extra crispiness. Now our goal is to unsoak them. I have paper towel on a plaque a couple at a time. Place our bunch on the paper towel and we will be working in small batches of about this many. We will shake and strain. To our this many, we could add this many more to have a total of two this many's. We will cover, dab, all the water is off, we're good to go. While waiting for our oil to heat up, we can move on to our second batch. To make our second batch, we logically have to move our first batch out of the way. Our first batch is out of the way. Our paper towel, it goes away. Second paper towel, open it up and our potatoes will go inside. Grab our paper towel, cover them, dab, and they're perfect. Our oil is nice and hot at 185 degrees Celsius. Do not, I repeat, do not put your hand inside the oil to check it out. You will be going to the hospital really quickly. We'll grab our chips, plop them in like this. And the rest is like that. And we'll wait about two to three minutes. We're looking for a nice golden brown, but not too brown. We're starting to get that crispiness. We'll reserve our chips on a tray. We'll wait for our oil to heat back up. We'll reserve our chips on the table and we'll move on to our second batch. Our oil is back to being really hot and we'll place them in the oil like our first batch. We want to wait two to three minutes and we'll do a tourne retourne. Grab our tray and with our first batch. No one left behind. I spread my chips about evenly by hand. My oven is on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll put our pre-crispy boys in the oven to make fully crispy boys. And now I will see you guys in about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll grab our chips from the oven. Watch out, it's quite hot. Nice crispy chips. One flew away back inside. Our tray knows its way to the sink. Paper towel can go. Just a bit of salt, up to you. My personal preference. Tourne retour. And now let's investigate what we have. Quality control. Grab a couple chips and let's break them. Beautifully crispy. And my chips will reserve. If you want to skip this step and go straight to eating your chips, go for it. Just by tradition, I'm going to serve my chips in our classic bowl. Equalize. And there we have it, our homemade chip recipe. Crispier than Lay's. Now I can't guarantee that there's less calories in store-bought chips, but I can tell you that they're better. And just like that, our crispy boys are done. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching my videos and supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.